Hello everyone. I hope your first week of 2021 was amazing. I hope that you, despite everything that was going on, you felt accomplished. You felt like you were excited for the year ahead, excited for all your goals, all your dreams, all your desires. I hope that you were able to maintain some of that energy through uh, the craziness that was the first week of <laughs> January. I saw, of course, everyone who follows me knows I love memes. And I saw the best meme said, well played January 30 or December 37th, 2020. <laughs> it was really funny. But um, what was uh, spirit was inspiring me to talk about just to start um, for today's, you know, spirit messages for January 9th to 16th was about peace and how peace is a choice. It's a conscious decision that we have to make within ourselves. And there's every opportunity that comes to us. We have a choice to react to it from a place of peace or from a place of chaos. And one of the hardest things for somebody like me, and I'm sure a lot of people who listen in, I'm a busy mom. I have a busy business, busy, 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 busy. And we rarely take the time to slow down enough to make conscious decisions. We're always reacting to the world. And I feel like we saw a lot of that this week and spirit really brought to my attention and my inner peace was disturbed and that was by choice. I, I, I had to choose what uh, stories I was listening to and how much I was getting, uh, you know, into it. And, you know, it did disturb my inner peace and spirit really brought to my attention, which they're bringing me back now for you guys, is that you have a conscious decision, how you're going to approach every thing that comes up for you in your life and everything that you're aware of in your life. And you can choose a path of peace. You can choose the path of chaos. You could choose the path of apathy, um, but you have conscious choices. And this is our divine free will that we have in this life. And that is why a lot of mediums you see don't do psychic readings um, or more predictive type readings, because we're very aware of how much divine free will you actually have in your life and it's a ton and it's probably double or quadruple what you imagine it is we have so much choices in our life not every single thing is predestined and pre-planned um, and so spirit is just encouraging us at this time and I do feel for the week ahead to just try like just try a week where you dedicate if you have like one theme and one mantra to carry through the week I choose peace in this moment I choose peace I choose a peaceful path and then make decisions and towards actions that guide you to inner peace. I'm just going to have some tea while we're doing this. I rarely get a hot tea as a mom, so I hope you don't mind. So just take that as a message from spirit um, this week. And I look forward to hearing how it works for you guys. I do get a lot of comments, a lot of messages on these videos. So I'm going to keep doing them for the time being. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be using John Holland Psychic Tarot. I just love it. And, you know, if you guys follow John Holland on uh, Instagram, he's actually teaching a class. I don't think it's passed yet, um, but he's teaching a class on how to use these Oracle decks. I mean, this is classic, classic deck, right? I'm just going to show you the cover because I get a lot of messages asking what cards I'm using. So this is it. This is my first ever deck and it's my realist deck. <laughs> so let's just see what cards come up for you guys for the week as well. Okay. And I'll bring through some more messages as we tune into that. So we've got harmony. So this is like the number six card. Um, don't, don't have anything on the six. I just noticed that it was a six. Um, this could be relationship based, but it also, I think just kind of echoes, you know, when we live with um, internal peace, we live more in harmony with our existence and our surroundings. We know that it doesn't matter if we make conscious decisions towards peace, there are still going to be people and situations that trigger us. But if we come at life from a lens of peace, we will be more harmonious in our existence. And who doesn't want that? I'm telling you guys, I have tested the energy of abundance of manifestation. When you're in a place of peace and ease, things just flow and attract. And so how do we get to this place of attracting? We need to be in harmony. We need to be in peace. So this is just spirit's way of kind of echoing that message without a doubt. So I get two solitude card. This actually came up in the January reading as well. And I think the 2021 reading, uh, if I remember correctly. So maybe this is a time to do some spiritual studies, pick up a book about something you've always been curious about, um, but you haven't found time for it, and make the time. Even if you delay your bedtime half an hour and you just decide for the last half an hour, I'm going to turn off my phone. I'm going to open the book that I've always wanted to read because 
I've recently received some amazing and incredible spiritual experiences um, from reading some of, you know, some books. And if you follow me on Instagram, I did a live this week where I share this experience. Um, I won't get too far into it, but I feel like I felt the presence of God and I'd never had that experience before. It was very emotional. So if you want to watch that experience, it's on my IGTV on Instagram as Squamish Medium, but I do accredit it to all the spiritual literature that I've been reading lately because it's put me into this vibrational place and this vibrational state of devotion, of like spiritual growth and curiosity. And I feel that sometimes when we show so much devotion, we show so much contemplation towards um, spiritual things and spiritual beliefs and spiritual philosophies, whether they, we embody them or not, I do feel that we almost get rewarded for that curiosity and that contemplation. And I feel that that's what happened to me. And so I share that experience and I feel this card is coming up to echo I'm not special at all. I, I'm as special as everybody else and we all are special, but what happens to me can happen to you as well. 110%, I promise you that. And so Spirit is making me feel that a few of you have had visions and ideas on different books that you want to read and you just haven't given yourself the time. You're worthy of the time and it will bring you peace. So doing something a little bit different. And I'm also hearing the phrase in my head, if you keep doing what you've always been doing, things are going to stay the same for you. And I know that there's so many of us just yearning for change. This is just one of the ways that Spirit's bringing us these changes. Um, so there's a lot of change on the horizon for some of you too. Uh, this may feel like defeat. It may feel like failure. It might feel like you took a wrong step somewhere. The spirit is actually saying for some of you, <laughs> I'm getting this very clearly for some of you who haven't been listening to your inner whispers. You have not been listening to your inner calling, or you haven't been making the necessary changes out of fear of uncertainty and fear of you don't know what's on the other side. And so for some of you three in particular, I definitely feel like the number three around this, uh, the, you're going to have like the rug swiped out from under you. So as an example, experiential teacher over here, um, when I felt like I wanted to leave corporate, I delayed for three years. I sat for three years torn and the rug kept getting swiped out under me. I kept having health crisis after health crisis because I wasn't listening to my soul and I wasn't honoring what I knew I needed to do. So I feel like it's going to be something very similar like that. Like, oh, I was thinking about like leaving my career and starting something different. And then all of a sudden you get laid off or something. It's going to be like that. It's going to be uh, big changes. Um, so just one more card here for you guys um, for the week. Okay. Yay. It's one of my favorite cards. Um, I pulled this card actually when I launched my initiation program, which is almost sold out. I only have a few seats left. So drop the link below if you want to sign up because it's probably going to be sold out by next week. And we start on the 22nd. Um, okay. So this is the card I actually pulled and I knew everything was going to turn out. Okay. So this is the positive movement forward card. It's the eight, which is financial. Um, the eight is always about financial abundance, but this is a card that really represents the hard work that some of you have been doing leading up to this point. So these are the people who, you know, put themselves out there, came out of the spiritual closet, started doing readings, card readings for friends. And now they're getting messages from uh, extended people saying, Hey, I heard that you do this. Can I do this? Like, this is just an example of what spirit showing me as part of this positive movement forward. This is for the people who have been really step-by-step by step, by step doing the work towards what they want to achieve. And spirit is saying here, that this week in particular, you're going to be seeing almost like a quantum leap forward. You're like, what just happened? Like, how did this happen so quickly? Right? Because things do come really quickly. But we also have to remember that we've been putting in the work for sometimes weeks, months, years to get to this point. So I do suspect for a lot of you, there's going to be big rewards towards things that you've been working towards. Uh, and it will show up in abundance financially. I'm seeing this being very money specific. I think of abundance, sometimes the opportunity opportunities I receive are like far and greater than any uh, financial compensation that I receive. And so a lot of times I can feel abundance in both of those fields, finances and opportunities, but I feel that this is more financial. So I want to hear from you if you feel like this is you. Um, and I really hope that you enjoyed um, these messages this week. And, you know, if you have like a letter board or you have like, I don't have my phone on me. I just cracked my screen. So I don't have a phone at all right now. But if you are somebody who like make, makes your own wallpapers, maybe just put a wallpaper on your phone that says, I choose peace in this moment. 
I choose peace. And when you're faced with a decision, you simply say, what decision is going to lead me to a place of peace and harmony? And if you can start making more conscious efforts, and then you get into that kind of like flow and ease of life, that's where manifestation happens. That's where a peaceful and, uh, you know, harmonious life exists. So try it. If nothing else, I only give you these things every week at a time. Just give it a go. Try it. Uh, again, it's going to be a new habit. It's going to be formed for people. So it might take you a couple of days to get more used to it. You might want to say a mantra to yourself over and over again. I choose peace. I choose harmony. I choose peace. I choose harmony. And then it will become almost like a default thought when you're facing something. So, so much love to you guys this week. Happy 2021. I'm feeling really good. I hope you guys are feeling really good. And uh, yeah, see you next week.